The Time Variance Authority are the talk of the town since the organization's debut in the Disney Plus Loki series. Boasting to be the most powerful force in the entire multiverse, the bureaucratic organization even seems to back up their claims as they reign in the god of mischief himself time and time again. And they did so with their most powerful weapon, the pruners. But who exactly are the TVA and what are these pruners that make them so powerful? The organization is a Marvel Comics deep cut, dating back to stories even a lot of diehard fans may not be familiar with. Their first appearance dates back to Thor 371, and they have just over two dozen appearances since then. In the grand scheme of Marvel Comics' thousands of issues, it's easy to understand missing the TVA. Much like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in the comics, the TVA is a massive organization that oversees a large portion of the Marvel multiverse. Their purpose is to maintain order throughout reality, overseeing a portion of the totality of time separate from both Kang's Dominion and the cloud monster Eliath's. The comics even share the same story that the MCU's TVA used as their cover. They are staffed entirely by individuals created specifically for the purpose of serving the TVA. You know the rest. In the MCU, that turned out to be the lie, as each member of the TVA is actually a variant plucked from a splinter timeline, but in the realm of the comics, it's actually completely true. Rather than simply being mind-wipe variants, most of everyone who works for the TVA are created specifically for the function they serve, but they never really do any of the cool stuff that becomes so commonplace in a world of gods and conquerors. So let's get to the fun stuff. What about their pruners? Seen in Loki as batons with glowing tips, the pruners seemingly erase any individual they hit from reality. The batons were created specifically for the show, but the truth is that the TVA's greatest weapon in the comics is a bit different, and far more deadly. It's called the Retcan. Its full name is Retroactive Canon, a play on the term retcon used to describe when a detail of a story is later changed by the writer. In Universe, the Ret Can fires a beam of energy that erases its target from the timeline completely. It's the TVA's deadliest weapon, and they use it to maintain order in the multiverse. Side note, one of the best stories of the Ret Can happens when a villain runs rogue with it in the pages of She-Hulk, and the gamma-infused heroin is forced to track it down. Really, the Ret Can is far deadlier than the pruners from the MCU for a very simple reason. Range. In the TV show, you have to push the glowing tip of a pruner against an enemy combatant in order to erase them from the timeline. That means you have to be within two feet of an adversary in order to make it work. In the show, the female version of Loki, Sylvie, may have been able to take advantage of the close quarters the batons necessitated, but if the TVA of the show had the ret can, it would be a whole different story altogether. Range makes all the difference, and as cool as the hand-to-hand fight scenes may have seemed, the TVA is supposed to be the most powerful force in the multiverse. If they had retcans, nobody, not even a pair of dastardly Lokis, would be able to stand a chance. 